When you want to draw the CPRF, so we reviewed this in protocol number, uh, uh, chapter number three, sorry. In this protocol here, you have to make sure that um, you spin faster in the white tubes and the blue tubes. Make sure, you, of course, you do not use the red tubes. Uh, it has to be done in the liquid PRF tubes. Now, a small little trick that we're going to go over here. When you use the 18 gauge needle, the best thing you can do is instead of like in the previous video where we used to take the, the needles and the syringe and we'd go all the way down and we try and take out a little bit of that CPRF layer, what we call it, it's very challenging to do that. And this technique here that I'm showing here is much more effective and I'll explain why in the video. What we're gonna do instead is we're going to take that 18 gauge needle, remove the upper three to four mLs of liquid PPP. We're gonna discard this upper layer and then we're gonna collect the remaining 0.5 to one mL layer, okay? And from there, it's then gonna be ready. So if we go over the video, I'm explaining here again, this is a different way of doing it, but it's a lot more effective um, than I showed in chapter three. We're going to pop the lid, and I actually learned this technique from uh, the PPP uh, PRP experts, and this was uh, Dr. Rune Garg. I saw him doing this one time with PRP, and I said, that's how everybody should be doing it, even with platelet-rich fibrin. So I have to give him credit, of course, for, for the technique. So you remove the upper platelet pore layer. Then when there's 0.5 to 1 mL left of the very rich, the concentrated PRF, you're then gonna draw this up. And this is gonna be about 0.5 to 1 mL, somewhere in there. That's where all the cells are. That's gonna be a lot more concentrated than the liquid IPRF, okay? And again, as we reviewed, there could be a little bit of red blood cells that are incorporated in there and there's no issue with that. So again, we're gonna go over that. When you look at this video, you can actually see a little bit of the white there, that's where the cells are. So you're gonna draw up this upper layer, okay? You take out the top three, four mLs, and then you're gonna discard it, so you can just put it in the PRF bowl. When there's about one mL left, then you're gonna take this very rich layer, and as we reviewed previously in chapter three, this is concentrated, like I said, about 15 to 16 times the platelet count from baseline, whereas typical IPRF is usually two to three fold. So there's a big difference here. And like I said, we'll take a little bit of the red blood cells as we reviewed in chapter three. Okay, so that's how that's done. You can see there I got about you know 0.5 to one ml, somewhere around one ml roughly. That's typically what we're looking for when we draw the CPRF.